Yo, 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 it's been way too long since I posted a, p a video, bro. So, I got the toy get right into it. You already know. Yes, sir. Woo. It's been too long. Hold on. I want to do so. Let's make sure that this is on all mad and you already know. Yeah, so <laughs> Well y'all I made a couple trades you already know. I traded a whole bunch of my picks and all uh and stuff for uh Michael Parsons. <laughs> Michael Parsons. It took a whole bunch. Uh yeah. I, Trade away, uh, what's his name? Uh, Calais Campbell, right? For Michael Parsons. Then I went ahead and got Darwin Thompson. He's gonna be my number one running back. Today, now I'm gonna show you why. Put him as my number one running back. In this game, I'm gonna show y'all. Sports. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to reboot. Yep, this is the first showing of the one and only Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons. <laughs> Michael Parsons. Moment. Keep Cordell Patterson to minimum yards. That's the only yards. thing I can do. Keep him right some minimum yards. That's all I can do with him. The lead. But at the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that too. Now a throw here to his running back. Ah, oh, not Pierce, bro. Hey, Ali. It's probably gonna be one of those energies where he's just out for like a little. First and ten. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And this is gonna be a Panthers first down as good running gets him to about the 44. They run with Patterson. He pumped a minimum, y'all. If we could do that, keep him to under like 50 yards, we won the game. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring I told you it's, like, it's only like a little Hey, but hope everybody can guard that person. I feel From like the gun, it's Allen. For all he does is from the Wilson. pocket and throw those goddamn weird passes. That's why he only bounds. got three yards. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. Here's Patterson. We did it. Let's go. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on the punt. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Oh, they four and three. Okay. I'm going to make them go four and four then. I want to, uh, okay, this one's going to be all right. Now, watch this. Just watch how this boy runs. First carry for the ex Utah State Aggie. Boom! Thompson. Eight yards in my first play with this in. There as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. On second down, it's Thompson. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. Well, you know, this club, there were some reports earlier in the week, and most of them no running on the so on display too. Sources so. that were saying all is not rosy in that locker room. There's whispers that one or two guys, CD, have kind of had enough of how things are going and have been going. How would you handle that as a coach? Well, you and I both know all the coaches that we oh, oh, oh. He could have jumped up and really picked that off, but I'm happy that he did it. And so, like, yeah. Oh, shoot. One thing. Chris Carson, he's going to be my third down running back. 
I traded away, away Raheem Mostert. I don't know where I traded him away. Because I know I did trade him away. Here's Carson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Boom. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Easy guys. Darius Tony, his third touchdown now on the Boom. year. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. Extra point by Mar up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. Let's go. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Now, following the touchdown, I should go out and get Justin Tucker. Because <laughs> I don't like missing my field goals. And gonna bring this one out. Now, I ain't having to take and long field goals. Right around where he would have been had he gone yeah, I know. Kicker's not going to make. The best thing about this whole drive, that last line. drive, they last when I was on defense, that I kept Cordell Patterson. Make sure they don't do that again. Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Yo, that should have been flagged, and I feel it. That should have really been flagged. Second, three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks. At some point, you finna get injured, Josh. <laughs> you stop playing with me. They'll run on first down. Patterson. He'll get three Let's go. up to midfield. Kept him to like three yards. Let's go. That's the best thing that can happen this whole drive. Hey, now normally this would be the halfway point of the season, but as we all know, there's now a 17 oh, let's go. season. And because of that, it seems like now maybe more than ever, getting your open week to occur later in the season, that could be a pretty big advantage. Brandon, it's always been a big advantage, and now as you pointed out, the possibility of it becoming huge likely most teams want that later open date because of injuries you know getting that rest before the playoff push all of those things sometimes when you get an open date early in the season he's inches away not really much of an advantage you might be playing well <gasps> not slows down we did it Let go. This is a big deal and teams definitely like it the later the better I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. They got me at the one. Hey, TJ Logan. You think maybe what we saw in practice came into play there? You know, he put those fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. That's some bull, well, bro. Go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it. Every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? He's inches away. And he'll be taken down. They the going to give him the first line. down. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And meanwhile, Allen's throwing no! to Mooney. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. You know that? Mm, that's not a bull, though. On first down. It's Patterson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. See, you see that? And this is why I'd be so happy when I keep that boy like five yard line. Because he would do that type of stuff. Now again, right side. Patterson. You see that? He just breaks the tackle. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. He took Cordell out the game. That's good. Allen going to throw. 
Here's Johnson. Huh? Touchdown, Panthers. Duke Johnson. His first touchdown of the year. And the Panthers have to I'm telling you, this game be tripping. Point after by Lambo up and good. And the lead is now two. Okay. So that drives seven plays in length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the video right here.